Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, guys, can you guess who little chunky little fat thigh baby this is? <laughs> yes, he's mine. For now, he's mine. And he is Cody Bear, Cody by Laura Tuzeros. Oh my gosh. Laura did her thing. But you guys already know, I'm not gonna go over the top with commercialized thing. I'm giving you guys my raw opinion. You guys know me. You guys know me. Y'all know I do not do those overly chunky babies normally for kids. I love a healthy fat real baby, but when it comes to my doll collection, I typically don't like a fat baby, but this baby, oh, M G. I'm like, oh my gosh, like he ain't gonna make it. And I should, I, I want to share with you guys. I've been kind of like nesting for him. Um, but you know, if I decide to sell him, some things may or may not go with him, so to speak. But, um, yeah. So anyway, I fell in love with him. Like when he, just when Laura first like showed him as a clay sculpt. But his blank kits go on sale December the 4th, which is Friday. And you can get them from Laura's website, Laura to Ross's website. I'm sure MacPherson will have them as well. Um, some of your other local uh, doll dealers. <laughs> when you say dealers, it's like, uh. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, I'm just going to change him. Y'all bear with me. Now, his full reveal will come soon with him having his rooted hair. I didn't want to take this diaper off, my, off of him because I just love it so much. I love this diaper. I love the diaper print. I'm going to have to save this diaper though. So, the body that he's on, I really, really love. Um, I did, however, I... I did order a custom body for him, but it didn't come, and I don't think I'm going to end up getting it. So, um, but that's okay, because I really love this body, and I I wasn't sure if I would keep switching them out anyway if the body didn't fit exactly like this one, because this is like the perfect body for him. So, yeah, and I did find that he does wear, like if it's a wide shoe, he can fit um, size, I want to say twos. He can wear twos and some threes. Oh my gosh, I just realized how beautifully his toenails are. Let me see if you guys can see this. Uh, <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> I'll have to see if I can cut that part out. Wait, wait. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but, oh well. But yeah, I messed up. I, I wasn't supposed to show y'all the whole baby. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll see if I can cut it out when I, if I'll go in and edit it. But anyway, um, he is a little chunkster. Now this is a size 3 diaper. I'm sure he can wear a size 4 or 5 because, you know, we like to put our babies on diapers that, you know, reach all the way around to cover up the cloth. Just depends on how you weigh them, too, how you stuff them. You don't stuff them that thick. He might can do it, but I I think he fits a pretty big size diaper. He's a chunky little boy. But what makes him baby and not as big as, like, limb and all that is that he's short. So... I'm gonna my button is I loved him in um Phoenix in these plaid things. Now I think I'm having a Didi moment. Shout out to Auntie Didi. I I'm pretty sure Denise Green sent this little um plaid number here. Um onesie. I, I use it as a whole outfit, y'all. But y'all know I ain't got no real dress code, so. But I, um, 
she's I'm pretty sure she said this and I for Noah back in the day and I gotta be careful here because he's on string still <laughs> and I don't want to pull his arm it'll be like some type of form of abuse I'm sure um but yeah that one is not on string I actually put zip tie on it but um but yeah so I'm sure she sent this and I'm also about to put him on another onesie <laughs> that she sent says I'm living my best life yes God <laughs> I'm living my best life I ain't going back and forth with you <laughs> women <laughs> Yes, baby. Yes. Whoever would have thought it. <laughs> yes, honey. I am loving this baby. This baby, this baby is like <sighs> Y'all know how I be painting all those Gabigails. I'm just hoping that I don't do the same with this kit. But I am definitely gonna paint another one. And I'm thinking I'm going to paint a um, I'm not going to paint another one the same color. I won't do that. I don't even think I'm going to paint in the same color range. I do think I'm going to paint at least one or two more. One to sell, maybe, if I don't sell the prototype. If I sell the prototype, both two kits will be mine because I want two of these babies in my collection, in my personal collection. So, I'm definitely going to buy two more kits, but... Um, like I said, one, um, out of th the three that I paint total, only one will be sold. So, either the prototype gets sold or one that I paint later will be sold. Not all three. I want two. I want a boy and a girl. Because my grand granddaughter is a smiler. She smiles all the time. She's such a happy baby. And she's so giggly. I definitely have to have a smiling baby in my collection as a girl for her. And I think Cody is the best one. Because I don't always like smiling kits. I'm not the one for it. But I do like him. I think it's a natural. He's a natural smiler. Look at this. Look at this boy. Oh my gosh, who can't love this baby? Okay, so that's Baby Cody Bear by Lord T. Ross. I'm going to go grab some of his things and show it to you. Nah, nah, should I? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe I should just wait till I put it on him and then you guys see it. Um, let's see. I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I gotta just stop popping and dancing for a minute. But let me show y'all. I'll show y'all. Hold on. Just a few of the things that I got him. Um, some of his stuff I'm not gonna share. Like, I'm not gonna show his shoes and his little one little. The one little dressy outfit that I got him, child. Because y'all know I don't be dressing my babies up. 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 So, let me show y'all. So, this is something I have been had. And I'm hoping he can fit this. It's nine months. And it's just a little, like, dressy shirt. And some little khakis. Oh, that's going to be cute on his skin tone. So, that is that. And that's, that's a nine months. And then I had to get him some little me onesies. I caught these on sale at Belts. So it's just, you know, the blue and white has a little choo-choo train embroidered. And does it have anything else embroidered in it? I don't know. But I got him some socks to go with that as well. Um then I had to get him a little sleeper. And I know it looked like it's extra long, but when he fill it out with his little thickness, it's going to fit him. And this is actually, this is six months, but it's it's pretty long. Um, But it's little me. And it's got the little puppy dogs on there. Because him love puppy dogs, right? Mama going to get him a puppy dog. So, 
And then I had to, y'all know I got to get my Carter in there somewhere. Carter. So this is nine months. So this is um, a little sleeper with a little side snap. Now listen to this. Look at this. This is nine months in Carter. This is six months in little me. And they're the same size. This is why ladies, look, same size. This is why you can't be saying, oh, people said they wear this size, but they really wear that size as if they're lying because different brands have different sizes. And I do want to make a note for you guys to know Carters have changed their sizing on their clothes. Their clothes are cut bigger than they used to be. Ever since they merged with Oshkosh Biosh or whatever, or I don't know what, what was the change, but they have changed. Again, this is another little me. Six month. Big. But I love that it had the little dinosaur thingies on the, on the side. And the feet out. So he gonna wear his little, probably his little hard bottoms that I got him. Um... So he got two pair of hard bottoms. Some is wide. And I don't know like how I'm going to feel about those. And then he got another pair. And then he got a few other little things. Well, you guys seen he wore. Well, he wore the. You seen him with the onesie on. But it actually had. These were the pants that went to the onesie. that The onesie. And the. um, And he had a hat. A brown hat to this. Which I got to put it together. But. All these different things that I bought for him in just this short period of time I've been I think he he actually have I bought more for him than I've bought from Phoenix <laughs> that's crazy right um but yeah his hands are you know very delicately painted um he has a lot of modeling in his limbs and stuff his arms and legs and like I said he's very lightly veined and his nails are tipped but they are very, they're did you know well manicured soft like natural like baby toes so i'm i'm really happy i was really happy with the way that he turned out um really love everything about him um i can't wait i love his little smile and i can't wait to reveal him with his hair oh lord jesus y'all was not supposed to see all that oh well that's what happens i'll have to edit this heavily Oh gosh, this is gonna be too much work. All this head, this editing. Uh. All right. So that is that. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.